Yes, man. Welcome back to XC on channel 263. And today we're talking about a softball club all the way in Plumstead that was founded 10 years ago by Claire Cohen. The team registers from 16 years and older. And today we're speaking to one of the amazing players and her name is Kaylee Langman. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here and gracing us with your presence, man. So, of course, Claire opened her softball team 10 years ago and today, you know, this year marks as the decade of course why would you why would you say that Claire opened her team knowing that there are others out there as well so uh, Claire belonged to a team previously before um, starting Panthers so while she was playing for that team she didn't really feel like at home mm. so she wanted to make her own home her own softball home so she started Panthers and ever since then it's grown into this amazing club and you, are of course, are part of Panthers Softball Club. How long have you been part of Panthers Softball Club? And where would you say your passion for softball has derived from? So this is my second season. I started last season, which was the 2021-2022 season. Mm -hmm. So this is my second season. Um, my passion for softball starts all from my passion for sports. Mm -hmm. I love sports. So softball i was introduced to softball by my mom basically yeah. she found um a panthers facebook page mm -hmm. and so she said oh you should join so i joined and so yeah now i'm joining myself so you're following kind of in the footsteps of your mother that's so amazing well no well my actually my grandfather played baseball so oh. yeah a when little bit different. When I was younger, I always wanted to play softball, but there was nothing ever around. And I was like, I'm not a runner, so <laughs> let's not do that. Let's not injure ourselves. And not, let's not run because we are going to lose some teeth, of course. Yeah. So you guys are part, you part of Panther Softball Club, which is a community team, right? Yes. And of course, with being part of a community team, there comes your little challenges that comes with everything. So how would you say that you guys source the equipment that you use as well as the uniforms that you use on a day-to-day -day basis? So, okay, when Claire's started Panthers in 2013 she got hold of sponsors mm -hmm. and from there the club has grown well obviously these aren't our original uh, uniforms mm -hmm. but to raise money we've um, done uh, raffles we clear sells food like to the club and that so we'd buy food on weekends mm -hmm. after games and she's an amazing cook by the way like her oh. food's really good <laughs> um, so yeah, so we do events like each year there's an event. Uh, last year we did an event in July. It was amazing, mm -hmm. over the top. Wow. And so yeah, that's how we raise our money to get equipment because mm -hmm. equipment's like really expensive. So, and it's not like you can go to any sports store any locally, so yes, it's yes. all imported, so it's expensive. She said, Claire, if I never told you before, man, your cooking is amazing, it's off the charts. And you're speaking about July, you know, this is when you guys, um, you've had your award ceremony last year, July. Yes. What, tell me about, you know, the experience in being at the award ceremony and looking back to all the, the hardships that you guys have come through. What does it feel like reflecting back at that moment? So... On like game days, you either win or you lose, mm. but no matter what a win or a lose, you always have that um, like excitement of playing. So with the award uh, ceremony, it was just nice to be acknowledged that, mm. okay, it's just, we're not playing just for the game, it's like the whole season, mm -hmm. and it's, just, it's really nice. And how would you say that you guys deal with losses if, when you guys do get some of them? Um, so with the losses, it's like any other game with a win or a lose. We always keep our heads high. We celebrate no matter what. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And to people that are out there today that are in the community and want to sponsor Panthers today, well, how can they join or contribute to the Panthers Softball Club? Um, so you can all, all our information is on our Facebook page, uh, Panthers Softball Cape Town. Mm -hmm. So they can just contact via the Facebook page. And yeah. So, guys, you heard it right there, you know, join and follow them on their social media pages. And if there is individuals out there today that want to join Panthers of Full Club, what can they do to join the team? Um, okay, the most active page is our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So if you want to join, check out, we've got photos on there of all our games. We have an amazing photographer, Tyrone. Mm -hmm. he, every game is there taking pictures of us so you can see in action what, what we're all about. Right there in action, guys, go on these social media pages. And I do have one last question for you, which is just off the cuff. We, our social media question that's running today is asking about how can people at home create more awareness about cancer? And do you have any tips or advice that you'd like to add to that as well? 
Um. <laughs> I know, but did you understand? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know? um, to create more awareness on cancer, just speak about it. I mean, everyone has an experience know of someone who has battled cancer mm. or in some way. So just speak about it, you know, find information or credible information. Mm. And yeah. Thank you so much, Katie Langman, for being here. And for those of you who would like to contribute or would like to sponsor the team, it is, soft, it is of course, the Panthers softball team on all social media platforms. As Katie has said, the Facebook page is the biggest website. So if you want to join them as well, please go on their Facebook page. You know, just send them a message. Let them know how you're feeling, man. It's always amazing having people from the community on the show. Thank you so much for coming through, man. It is still XC Live across all social media platforms. Our social media question for today is knowing how can we, create more awareness for people that are dealing with cancer cancer survivors today man it is XA live right here on the show and right now man we are going through to see who is in the music block waiting for you mm -hmm. 